，给观众一种比较神秘的气氛。然后呢，他们这些主人公他们会经历什么？哦，他们会遇到些什么？而不是观众在那边拿着 popcorn 准备会被吓到那样子。Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of E Junkies. This week we are going to be looking at the new HBO Asia original series called Who's by Your Side. Now this is a ten episode, one hour drama series that looks at relationship challenges and and marital issues. And at the core of it is this couple called Yong Jie and Zhi Sheng. If you've watched the premiere of it on HBO Go, you might be feeling a little bit confused about you know the tonal shifts and differences. It kind of goes from a Drama series into a bit of a, a horror, a bit of a mystery series.、Um, don't worry, we were kind of feeling the same way. We've invited a special guest on our show to kind of explain、uh, these tonal shifts on the show, and he's none other than Peter Ho, who is a Taiwanese actor and director as well. So for Who is by Your Side, he co-wrote the show and he also directs it. And you will find him familiar because you've seen him out about in a few、uh, Asian productions, as well as a 1999 film with our own. Fan Wong. So, without further ado, let's invite Peter. Welcome to the show.、Uh, I'm just gonna jump right into the first question. So,、um, the show is being branded as a dark drama series, but you know, it's it's not a typical drama. There is a very strong horror element to it, and it kind of pushes it beyond the drama genre. Could you share with us, like, what was the thought process behind this? Since you know, you are the director and the co-writer. 好，我先从头讲好了，就是它是一个恐怖小说改编的。那那个小说里面是纯恐怖片。那我后来呢，我把它改编的，就恐怖的元素我只保留了很少很少，百分之九十五都是我比较想要去表达的人性跟人与人之间的关系。对，所以呢，我在拍摄的时候，而且，呃，我传达给观众的时候，我就不想让观众太过去 expect 说会有那种哇 jump scare 的那种东西。对，反而可能给观众一种比较神秘的气氛。然后呢，他们这些主人公，他们会经历什么？哦，他们会遇到些什么？而不是观众在那边拿着 popcorn 准备会被吓到那样子。所以呢，在处理一些比较呃惊悚的画面的时候呢，我比较不会有那种突然间吓人的，而是节奏还是跟里面的 drama 一样，都是比较慢一点。然后呢，希望是，呃，观众比较把它当成是一个呃剧情片在看。You know the the show, like I mentioned, you know there's like two different genres going on. So tonally, um, there are two different sides to it. Uh, were you at all concerned? You know, like people who are watching it, would they ever feel overwhelmed by you know the shifting tones? 我做导演的这时候呢，其实就希望说可以做一些不一样的尝试。呃，之前有想过，就是说，哎，是不是要做一个纯恐怖片？哦，好，那就是会有一个纯恐怖片 SOP， 哦，一定都是这样子一个 formula， 哦，或者是一个纯 drama， 就是一定是这样的 formula。那是不是能够去做一个很像你提到说两种不一样的？哦，那观众会不会觉得 overwhelm 或者怎么样？我觉得那个我也没办法保证，但是呢，我觉得。我至少现在，我有一颗想要去冒险的心，然后呢，我希望在呃呈现出来，至少观众可以看到我是有诚意的。我希望去开拓一条新的路，而不是很安全的去走别人已经走过的路这样子。啊、uh, ，But I also have to commend you on the fact that you know I think the actors did a great job. Like you know it's very restrained acting. It's not exaggerated, and you can feel. The emotions bubbling beneath the surface. Can you share with us,、um, you know, what it was like to tap into the darkness of humanity and, you know, show viewers what people are really capable of? I think this movie is the biggest thing. It's not a boundary. 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 It's 但是这个我就想去 explore 一下，就是说，你当一个人你最无助的时候，你的那个最大的 extreme 会是什么？你会去到什么境界？对，那其实因为看到前三集是永杰跟智胜的，其实后面几集呢，又有另外一对 couple， 还有智胜他面对女儿之后，他们面临的困难之后，他们内心还有什么更黑暗的东西，或者？
他们原本黑暗的东西，他们怎么去救赎自己，怎么去把黑暗转变为光明，这样。So while writing the script, uh, you know, was was anything inspired by your own life experiences or your interactions with people? Because actually, uh, for example, Jian Zhisheng, he is a drug addict. Then, actually, I also met such friends. Then he is also a person who likes to go through life's journey. The usual social norm is to go out and party. Then he is a busy man. 然后你付出什么，你却得到什么。但是很多时候呢，人都会有一种惰性。然后呢，你那个惰性来，再加上比如说有朋友叫你，哎，你去哪里赌场啊？哇，你赢一把，你就可以少工作几个月。哦，那人很脆弱的，面对呃这种呃诱惑的时候，对。所以呢，比如说我那个朋友，他就是赌博，然后倾家荡产，对，因为他选择了。人生的捷径。Could you tell us, you know, what do you hope、uh, audiences take away from the show?、Uh, because you said, you know, the first half it, it's going to be dark and heavy, but then you know,、uh, as the series progresses, people kind of get to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, is that one of the messages that you're trying to convey? And you know, if not, what else? 后面的 ending 呢，也啊，也不一定是真的，就是那 happy ending 了。对，因为我也不能先说。但是呢，我至少，因为我觉得希望可以。让观众呃呃呃带走的东西呢，它不一定是一个呃很 happy ending， 它就会才能够有正面的东西带走。它可能可以从里面得到的一些感悟 ，what not to do， 然后呢去反思哦，可能或许我更加应该关怀我身边我爱的人，更加更多的跟他们沟通，才不会。呃，沦落到跟这个戏里面的主人公一样，或许这个是一个方法。Thank you, Peter, for your time. Okay,、um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of excited for the show and to see where it goes. Uh, all the best, and I hope that it does well with viewers. And I'll see you around. Bye. So once again, I'd like to thank HBO Asia for giving us the opportunity to speak to Peter. I mean, I think、um, as consumers or as viewers, it's always kind of interesting to have a behind-the-scenes look at you know the thought processes behind the creation of the show and how it actually be- becomes the product that it is today. So who is by your side? Stars Kaiser Chuang, Vivian Su, Nina Chang, and Ivan Chen. If you want to watch it. The show actually premiered with two episodes, with new episodes coming every Sunday. You can stream it exclusively on HBO Go, and it will also be available on the HBO channel. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode of E Junkies. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on similar content from Asia One. See you next time, and bye.